Hi folks, it's Ian Baker, the product specialist at American RV. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2016 Keystone Passport 2510RB. This is going to be a very nice rear bath couples coach. And a couple things I really like about Passport 1 is going to be the lightweight and towability. This unit is going to have an aluminum structure as well as a huck bolt frame for superior construction. And again, nice and lightweight makes it easy to tow, especially in conjunction with your aerodynamic front end and your widespread axles. This unit's also going to come equipped with outside speakers and a power awning that covers almost the entire length of the coach. Let's head on in and take a look at the beautiful inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Passport 2510RB. It's going to be a great couples model. You have a nice big rear bathroom and you have a ton of wardrobe storage in this camper. But let's go ahead and start off on the kitchen right over here. One of the things I love about the Passport 2510 is going to be the huge countertop space. You can see here you get just a ton of prep space which is wonderful. Right here is going to be your double bowl sink, nice large bowl on the left and a smaller bowl on the right. You're also going to have this high rise brush nickel faucet and your sink top covers are going to be cutting board quality so you can go ahead and flip those over use them as a cutting board and then flip them back over when you're done also when you do get large countertop space like this the other thing you're going to get is going to be a lot of storage space you can check this out right underneath here you have great storage space down there and also you have a ton of storage here another nice entry point and one of the things I like that Passport does is they do give you two full extension drawers you can see here they're really long drawers, so nice, uh, great storage areas there. And then lastly, right over here in that same area, right there you get again more storage. So a ton of storage underneath this countertop. Also in the kitchen here, you're going to have your three burner cooktop that is going to be an Atwood burner. Uh, so you're going to have great flame control on there. Also underneath, you're going to have your conventional oven. And then underneath that, you have another nice large storage area. This is going to be perfect for all your pots and pans. As we go ahead and move up top, uh, one thing I like that Passport does is going to be the cabinetry in here. They have raised panel cabinetry in your kitchen, so that's going to be beautiful. The nice brush nickel pulls here as well, just give it a nice look. And you're going to have great uh, pantry storage right up top there. Next to that is going to be your microwave, and then right below that is a fully functional hood with both a light and a fan. Rounding out your kitchen is going to be your Dometic fridge freezer combo. You can take a look here, you can see you have plenty of space and a nice big cutout here in case you have uh, like a half gallon of milk or orange juice, something like that you want to put in there. And this is going to run off both LP and electric and it's going to have automatic switch over. So what that means for you is if you're running it off of uh, LP and you plug it into shore power, it's automatically going to switch over for you, saving you on your gas. Right here is going to be a very versatile storage area. I love what they've done. So on the left here, you get a nice uh, tall wardrobe area. So if you do have longer jackets, dresses, something like that that you want to bring with you, you know, maybe you're camping for an extended period of time, uh, you can certainly go ahead and fit those in there. Also right here, you're going to have some uh, adjustable shelves. These are going to be removable. So if you want to take the shelves out, you can certainly do that. And you have another hanging, uh, hanging rod up there as well. So if you want both of these to be hanging, you can certainly do that or again, keep the shelves in just uh, great versatility in that storage area and also right underneath you can see you have an additional cutout now this is a rear bath model so right back here is going to be our bathroom uh, right in the corner is going to be our toilet you can see you have plenty of leg room there right up here is going to be our neo angle shower so you can see there you have a nice big neo angle shower you have plenty of room uh, you can see you have a hand wand you'll get a couple of shelves there and you're going to have a, a skylight up top letting in some light as well as a fan that's going to help get out some of the moisture right over here is your uh, medicine cabinet it is a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage then underneath that is going to be a sink top and vanity with additional storage down there Right outside the bathroom here is additional storage. So I like what they've done. They, they added a window back here. A lot of your uh, rear bath models in this size don't have that rear window. The rear window not only adds a nice aesthetic and look, but it actually really helps brighten it up during the daytime. Uh, right up here, you're also going to have a plug-in. So if you need to plug in any kind of electronics back here, you can certainly do that. Makes a nice shelf, bar, whatever you'd like to put up there. And then again, more storage. I told you in the beginning, I had a ton of hanging storage. Look at that, you have a hanging rod going 
all the way across. So just a ton of wardrobe storage in here. Then right over here is going to be our super slide. So nice big slide, large U dinette. The U dinette is going to be great because that way you have plenty of room to go ahead and you know sit down and spread out. Uh, you know you don't have to worry about bumping into each other, not uh, hitting each other's knees. The other neat thing is when this table goes down, this makes into a very large bed. So if you do have guests that want to come and stay, this can easily sleep two adults. And also you can use it as a great uh, area to sit and lounge. You can drop the table down, fill the cushions in, you know sit against one side watch your TV just makes a, a very comfortable uh, secondary seating area two big windows in our slide again let in a ton of natural light you know they have the nice valances on here uh, you know just it looks gorgeous the nice window dressings and then right here is your uh, jackknife sofa so this is going to be a, a leather jackknife sofa you'll have the armrests here the thing I like about the jackknife take a look at this we open it up and you have a ton of storage down there as well so again you know this coach just has a lot of storage throughout that's a great storage area uh, for blankets pillows things like that for additional guests or whatever else you want to put uh, under there but it is nice big access uh, or nice big storage and it's easy to access Right up here is our, your entertainment center. So whether, you're, again, you're sitting on the couch, uh, sitting in the u dinette, maybe you're cooking, you, you can go ahead and watch the TV. It is going to be on a swivel arm mount, and that's gonna be connected to your multimedia center right here. The Jensen Multimedia Center is going to be your radio, your CD player, and it's a DVD player. So if you do wanna watch a movie, not a problem, go ahead and pop it right in there, and you can watch that. Uh, it really helps pass the time on a rainy day. Right up here, you're gonna have additional storage. You have the nice tinted glass. If you open that up, you can see you have storage right up there. And then you're going to have additional storage right down below. Also, right here is going to be your control panel. It's gonna have everything on there from your slide, awning, uh, tank monitoring system. One of the things I do like to talk about with the Passport is the water heater. The water heater does run off of either LP gas uh, or electric. The really neat thing about it though, is if you want a higher recovery, maybe you're both planning on taking a shower in the morning, you have gas, everyone needs to take a shower. You can turn on both the LP gas and the electric at the same time for the water heater and get a lot higher recovery. So really, uh, really neat feature there. As we step into the bedroom, couple things that I do like about the Passport bedroom, right here uh, to start off is going to be your doors. You can see you have two uh, full, you know, solid doors. It's not gonna be a, a curtain or a, a, you know, a curtition or anything in here, nice doors. And then right here, you're gonna have a cutout for an additional TV. So again, if you want a TV, you can put it right in there. That way you can watch a, a movie or something before you go to bed. Queen size bed in here. When I say queen size, I'm talking residential 60 by 80 queen, an actual queen size bed. The really cool thing about that is, you know, if you are a taller person, your feet aren't gonna hang off the edge like they are in a lot of the RV beds. Uh, and also, if you do wanna, you know, maybe get a, a really expensive upgraded mattress, you can put that in here because it is going to be residential size. So there are big advantages of having the full residential size queen. Also on both sides, you're gonna have, that's right, more hanging wardrobe storage. So great clothes storage there. The shelf up top, uh, you have a shelf on the bottom as well. The shelf on the bottom is gonna be great. You know, gives you a place for a glass of water. If you wanna charge your cell phone at night, you can certainly do that. You have plugins on both sides. Or if you have a CPAP machine, you can plug that in as well. Then going across the top here, you're gonna have tinted glass. And again, you have nice big storage all the way across. Uh, LED lights throughout this coach as well. Uh, the big, cool thing about that is it's gonna be nice and bright, not gonna put out the heat or uh, consume the, the battery power, the energy that your standard bulbs do. So again, just another feature that Passport gives you. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Again, this is a 2016 2510 RB. This one is going to be in the granite interior. It's just a great, great couples coach, an excellent floor plan. You know, you have plenty of uh, countertop space. You have the rear bathroom. You have so much wardrobe hanging space in here. It's crazy. A ton of place for uh, storage, you know, for all the wardrobes. You have the storage underneath the couch. Just a really, really great floor plan. Definitely one you wanna come and take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments please feel free to leave those in the video below or you can give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer that way as well thanks for watching I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom